Welcome to the video. This video is about the minerals in Himachal Pradesh and Kerala. Minerals in Himachal Pradesh The state of Himachal Pradesh with numerous glaciers, a large network of perennial streams or rivers, extensive vegetative cover has many natural resources. Nearly the entire area of Himachal Pradesh has covered by systematic geological mapping with the reported occurrence of a number of non-metallic, metallic and other minerals. Himachal Pradesh is the only state in the Indian Union to have a working rock salt mine. The slate and building materials are also important minerals of the state. In the foothill areas, despite having natural gas in paleogene, neogene strata, exploration by drilling has not so far brought out encouraging results. In the Tethys, Himalayan zone problems are much more severe due to poor logistics, inaccessibility and limited period of working owing to adverse climatic conditions. Himachal Pradesh has been endowed by nature with some important minerals such as limestone, dolomite, marble, gypsum, rock salt, barite, magnetite, silica, sand and slate. Some other minerals which have also been reported are nickel, lead, pyrite, cobalt, zinc, silver, coal and antimony. Some of the minerals in Himachal Pradesh Limestone Limestone is calcareous sedimentary rock composed of mineral calcite, which upon calcination yields lime for commercial use. Cement and iron and steel industries are the major consumers of limestone. It is also consumed in chemical industries like calcium carbide, bleaching powder, soda ash, precipitated calcium carbonate, etc. Limestone is found in abundance in Bilaspur, Solan, Sirmur, Chamba, Mandi and Kulu. To exploit this natural resource fully for the benefit of the state's economy, three cement plants have been set up that is Burmana, Rajpan and Darlakhat. Rock salt Mandi is the only district in India from where rock salt is extracted. Rock salt is mined in Gumma and Tarang areas of the district. These salt mines are controlled by the government of India. Rock salt has been extracted since long in Mandi Hills at two locations namely Darang and Gumma. These mines were transferred to Hindustan Salt Limited in 1963 after acquiring these from erstwhile Mandi state by government of India. Mandi salt belt extends from Mandi to Joginder Nagar and even further but three places namely Meghal, Darang and Gumma where salt is known to occur lie along NH20. Slate Slate is a fine-grained, hard, compact, cleavable rock derived from microcrystalline metamorphic rocks of clays and shale and possesses a cleavage that permits it to split readily into thin, smooth sheets. The thin layers split along the cleavage planes and may cut across bedding planes. The metamorphism of shale by pressure produces slates which are characterized by the presence of close-set planes of cleavage along which they can be split easily into thin sheets. There are over 270 slate quarries in Himachal Pradesh. Slate is used for roofing houses in the rural areas. Slate mines are located in the state in the districts Kangra, Chamba, Kulu and Mandi. In the recent past, State Pollution Control Board has initiated action against state quarries under the Pollution Control Act. High Court has also issued order for immediate closure of state quarrying units. That is why quarrying in the state has reduced substantially. Mineral Water Mineral water of Kalath near Manali in Kulu district has been found quite useful. It contains sodium, magnesium, calcium chloride, sulfates, phosphates, iron and carbon dioxide. Gypsum. This mineral has been reported from Kutar in Solan district, Batari in Chamba district and parts of Kenaur and Lahaul Spiti districts. Silka sand. Deposits to the tune of 2.5 million tons have been envisaged up to a depth of 1 meters by the Geological Wing Department of Industries, Himachal Pradesh in the Batri, Garthala and Padauri cuts of the Ona district. The reserve in long run may prove to be much more because of the replenishment of boulders by seasonal high water cuts. Silica sand used construction material are found in Pakera, Haroti, Homa and Bathori cuts of Ona district, Nihari, Sanab and along Satlaj Valley of Bilaspur district, along Giri River in Sirmao district and along the Satlaj River in Shimla and Kinao district. Dolomite Dolomite is a mixture of calcium and magnesium carbonates found in Kotipura and Panjota blocks of Pilaspur districts and Nalagar area of Solan district. Barite occurs in the Kanti, Mishwa, Tatiana, Tharlal, Pipili and Tiledhar areas of Sirmaur district. 
Naldera area of Shimla district and parts of Mandi district. The barrel deposits in Simao district is usually associated with crawl limestone and appear to have formed by the process of replacement. The mineral occur in either pure form or admixed with dolomite of the crawl formation. In the Jogarka Khala, however, it is associated with Balaini boulder beds. About 37 minerals are reported in Himachal Pradesh and except for limestone, barite, shale, rock salt, silica sand, magnetite, gypsum, quartz, slate, building stone, bajri and sand, other minerals have great importance in economy of state. Some other minerals also found in the state are pyrite which is found in Chamba and Shimla, iron ore which is found in Kangra, Kulu and Mandi, copper which is found in Chamba, Lahaul Spiti, Kulu and Kenaur, Cobalt and Nickel which is found in Silver Kulu, Antimony found in Lahaul Spiti, Coal found in Kangra, Mandi and Solan, Mica which is found in Kinaur, Lahaul Spiti and Kulu, Gold which is found in Sirmaur. Minerals in Kerala Kerala, the God's own country, is famous for its natural scenic beauty. However, the state is relatively poor in mineral resources. Though a variety of mineral deposits have been identified in Kerala, most of them are not economically viable for mining. Of course, the sandy beaches of Kerala do contain heavy mineral resources with huge deposits of limonite and rotile, the main ores of titanium. The beach places also contain monazite and important source of thorium. Kerala's monazite, magnetite, sillimanite, garnet and zircon deposits are largely undeveloped or rather wasted. Although it has been proved that there are deposits of gold in Bayanat, Kolikot, Palakkad and Malapuram districts, mining is yet to become feasible. The possibility of nano gold in the Attapadi and Mayanat regions need to be explored and could possibly make the gold economically viable to extract. The hunt for platinum has been elusive. There are extensive deposits of sand, building stones, granites, china clay, bauxite and commercially valuable deposits of iron, graphite, lignite, limestone and mica in Kerala. The biggest economic mineral deposit in Kerala as far as total volume and the money involved in trading in it is the lowly construction aggregate made up of sand, gravel and building stone rather than the clay deposits or the beach placer deposits. But whether the government earns even a fraction of its mineral revenues from this most valued of commodities in the state remains a question. This is the only state where granites are extensively mined without any mining plan and are mostly used as building stones. The abandoned quarries remain as wasted fallow lands. If properly planned, these granite mine areas could have become townships or tourist spots. There are lots of younger intrusive rocks which may contain valuable trace elements. Kerala has a lengthy coastal stretch. We have not been able to fully document the marine mineral resources, especially the offshore river sand deposits within our territorial waters so far. A systematic exploration of four gemstones is also a pressing need of the hour. The interface between society and the mining industry is also getting strained with agitations launched by the public against new as well as existing projects. The political, sociological and developmental perspective of mining in Kerala too has to be addressed in an effective manner.